Two gold medal British Olympians have been visiting pupils from schools in Bergen-Hona Garrison. The venue was Gloucester School and a trip coordinated by CSE. Beth Tweddle is the most successful British gymnast of all time and Philip Hines was part of the gold medal winning cycling team in London 2012. Angie Avlianos is the event manager for CSE. I think meeting genuine Olympians is a pleasure, isn't it? They're great role models. There's only good things to be said about people that have, you know, performed for their country in that way. I think there's a lot of similarities, obviously. Their parents are all in the forces, defending the country, and, you know, and they represent the country. There were question and answer sessions with the pupils, competitive sporting events and plenty of autographs gold medalist Beth Tweddle. It's great you can see the enthusiasm obviously working with Key Stage 1 this morning during their PE lesson and their sports day they love it. Do you know what they had some really good questions kind of people don't often realise how many hours we're training so mm. just kind of finding out the background of do we actually get nervous because people are often think that because we're top athletes we don't get nervous we don't mess up in training we don't mess up in competitions so it's kind of just explaining to them that we do get nervous we do um, have to do all the hours training and sometimes it does go wrong. Beth believes that promoting sport in schools is important for so many reasons. I think it's really important because you can take so many different things away from sport even if you're not a high level athlete there's the kind of the discipline the time management the the competitive edge because obviously See, you go out into the real world and it, it is a competitive world. Also visiting with CSE was Olympic gold winning cyclist Philip Hines who has dual nationality. Interesting, Philip was born in Krefeld. His mother is German and his dad in the British Army. He once represented Germany in the youth team and now represents Team GB. It must have been slightly awkward for Philip. It wasn't the first year when I went over to the GB team, but um, pretty much calmed down. Everyone's accepted they're running for the GB team now and jokes are gone now yeah. and uh, I'm racing them now. <laughs> As for Rio next year, Philip admits the training is going well. It's going good. I'm in the big gym phase at the moment, so I'm just getting strong and big and... Um, yeah, hopefully we'll all work out for real. Rebecca Ellis and George Davis from Montgomery School thoroughly enjoy the visit and were soaking up this special sporting occasion. It's very, 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 very cool doing athletics and the decathlon. I've learned that um, I can run fast by using my arms. and I do cycling quite a lot. I, I cycle usually around the centre. Couple times. Evie Lloyd Butler attends Slim School and was over the moon to meet the two Olympians and also get some tips. Well, it's been really nice and just to see them and just to have a chat with them. And if you get the chance to do it, you should do it. And if you have a goal to achieve, try to achieve that and do your best. The sports day on day two was attended by nearly 400 pupils. Lynn Eckersley is the head teacher of Montgomery School. Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. We've been planning this for about a year. We've been wanting to make sure that it was a very special week where all the children mix together before they all separate and go off their separate ways to different parts of the world. So it's been a, a really memorable time for every single child and for the adults too. Simon Tidman is the PE coordinator for Slim School but was also responsible for getting all the schools together for the sports days. What's been great is the children are able to see that, yeah, they're, they're Olympic superstars but they're ordinary people and and they've achieved something extraordinary through their own perseverance and hard work and dedication. I think it, it sort of sent a really good message out, a positive message to children saying, you know what, if you, if you try hard, it doesn't matter who you are, you can achieve and you can, you can be brilliant. This is Andy Asbury for BFBS in Hona.